Good day, everyone. For our Group 5 ABM Science present, what are the GMO? And our GMO for today is soybean. So, for our today's discussion, we have the contents. What we will discuss are what are GMO, example of GMO, benefits of GMO, disadvantages of this GMO. Genetically modified organisms or GMO are organisms whose genetic materials has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. This creates combinations of plant, animals, bacteria, and virus genes that do not occur in nature or through traditional cross-breeding methods. A GMO or a genetically modified organism is a plant, animal, microorganism, or other organism whose genetic makeup has been modified in a laboratory using genetic engineering or transgenic technology. Creating a genet genetically modified organism is a mold step process. Genetic engineering must isolate the gene they wish to insert into the host organisms and combine it with other genetic elements, including a promoter and terminator region and a pen a selectable marker. A number of techniques are available Recent advancements using genomics bacteria that is organizing food and research, food production, industrial protein purification, including drugs, agriculture, viruses play an important role as vectors for inserting genetic information into other organisms. This use is especially relevant to human gene therapy. There are pro proposals to remove the viruses to play. This has been introduced to deliver vaccine and to create an enhanced drugs. Uh, genetically modified organism, so soybean. Most soy grown in the United States is GMO soy. Most GMO, GMO soy is used for food for animals, predominantly poultry and livestock, and making soybean oil. It is also used as ingredients, lecithin, emulsifiers, and proteins in processed foods. Today, about 87% of available soybeans in the United States have been genetically modified. Since they have many uses from livestock, food to oil products, abundance in supply is crucial. GMOs are already gaining popularity in the market because of the benefits they offer. Um, one big example of this GMO is usually seen in our um, process processed foods. Uh, one big example of this is the instant noodles. Uh, when you look at the back, uh, back portion near the ingredients, you can see a uh, sign or info about the allergen information and it says contains wheat, gluten, fish, soybean, milk and milk products. Egg sulfites may contain crustacean sesame and celery. For the genetic modification process, first is you will be able to you should find an uh, organism that has the desired trait you wish to apply into the soil. The specific gene that has the desired trait will be cut or isolated from the DNA of that plant and it will be put into a plasmid or also known as the carrier where it will be ready to be put into the nucleus. However, the nucleus of a plant is so small, so we have to use either of the two methods, which are the use of agrobacterium, where it will carry the foreign gene and infect the plant cell, while in the use of 
Gene Gan table showed the DNA coated metal particles into the soup. But one of the disadvantages I've seen in the use of agrobacterium is that it produces many copies of the genetic material or the society. While the plant tissue that has taken up this genes will grow into a full size genetically modified soil and the process will continue by the regeneration of the transgenic plant. So, there are advantages of GMO soybean. These are more supplies of protein. Soybeans are known to have 6.6 grams amount of protein, mostly glycinin and conglycinin that approximately cover 80% of the protein content of a soybean. Because of this, it helps decrease the rate of cholesterol levels. Proteins are important to us because it's one of our sources that produce energy, then lower cost, and many uses. You can use soybean in various ways. They could be used as food for humans and animals wherein oil is ex extract from the soybean and could be used to cook. You can also use soybean as a biodiesel fuel, biocomposites, soybean foam, soybean base, lubricant, soybean crayons, soy ink, candles, and soy ethic. So, for the disadvantages of this GMO soybean, it is, for some people, it is allergenic and soybean may, made changes in the liver of a human and having or having, making, eating this soybean may have fertility issues and infant mor mortality for pregnant women. So this is the this we have discussed the GMO the process advantages and disadvantages of genetic modified organism which is a soybean. So thank you for listening and have a nice day ahead. Thank you.